Hi everyone, it's Susan at Butler Family Farm and I'm starting my uh, collaboration video outside. It's kind of a nice evening and I've got my Gertrude's running around and my trees and there's a slight breeze so I thought this would be kind of cool to start it outside. Um, so, down to basics. Down to basics? No, down to the info. This collaboration is called got some notes here so I don't forget anything. Pampered Chef Athon 2023. It's got 16 collaborators. It runs from June 10th through June 26th. And it's being hosted by Michelle at Big Valley Living, Ginger at Not For Nothing Homestead, and Tiffany at Mud and Mascara Homestead. These ladies have pulled together, 16 of us, to tell you about our favorite Pampered Chef tools. Any, uh, there's, and I didn't know this, but there's Pampered Chef recipes. And then there's different tips and tricks uh, the ladies have learned over a time period with their tools. I'm relatively new to Pampered Chef, although I knew about it, but as far as... Uh, collecting items to use and whatever it's only been in the last few years and thank you Facebook sometimes they do a good job Facebook has allowed virtual pampered chef parties to take place and that's how I've collected my uh, tools that I'm going to show you in a few minutes um, so I'm sure the other ladies have uh, some recipes there may and there may be some uh, fun fun videos out there uh, please watch each video make a great comment on it you can even say in your comment um, about the tools that you you have that your are your favorites and on June 26th let me be sure yeah June 26th it's a Monday evening after, actually it's a Monday afternoon that there will be a giveaway and to be in the giveaway, you need to uh, have some comments on the, on the videos on any of the 16 or all of the 16 uh, videos because there is a comment picker that's going to pull um, a video and then pull a comment from that video and that person wins the prize at that time. There will also be some hashtag door prize type uh, prizes as well. But June 26th, it's Monday. And it's going to start at 2 p.m. Pacific time because Michelle lives on the West Coast. And it's going to be um, 5 p.m. Eastern time because Ginger and Tiffany live in Georgia, which is the uh, Eastern time. And it's 4 p.m. Central time, which is where I'm at in Southwest Missouri. And I have to say that because there are a lot of us that are in the Midwest. So 2 p.m. Central. 5 p.m. Eastern and it's going to be on uh, YouTube of course and it's going to be on Michelle's Big Valley Living channel so be sure and mark your calendars and put a reminder on there so that you don't miss out I think I've covered oh, one very important thing there's a lot of videos out there and in order for your comment to uh, be in the giveaway uh, comment list however that little wheel works. Um, you need to be sure you're commenting on videos that have the Pampered Chef logo, which I'm not sure where mine's gonna be at this time because I'm not the editor. I let Jerry do that. And the hashtag Pampered Chef -a -thon 2023 is in the description. Those two key identifiers make that video a legit contender in the uh, giveaway for you that are, are commenting. So be sure and watch for those two, one or the other. It can be one, it could be both. But those are what make, makes, uh, identifies that as the Pamper, Pampered Chef Athon 2023 video. So let's, I'm going to uh, take you into the kitchen and I've got tools to share and our very favorite one that um, 
I didn't know how what I was going to do my video on. I wanted to be in the in the collaboration, but I didn't know what I was going to do my video on. And I knew I had some tools, and I wanted to show them. And one night I heard uh, Jerry say, "This is the best we've ever had," and it's a pampered chef, and that's going to be my. Uh, a featured item in this video. So come along and let's go check out what I've got to show you. So I've got um, the tools set out that I'm going to talk about. I'm not doing a recipe. Um, I don't have any of Pampered Chef recipes. To be honest, I didn't know there were any, but I'm going to check into it. So I have these mats that I got uh, in one of the virtual uh, parties that I did and they're really cool and I really like them and I just you know pull them out use them wash them off you know put them away well I guess I got one of them backwards because I actually cut on the wrong side of it so it's this orange one here it's got slice marks on it so I have to be careful that I've got the right the brightness of the mat looking at me when I'm using it I also like to have um, salad tongs when I make tossed salads and um, Pepper Chip has a really nice pair of teak ones that I have in my collection. And then I believe these were on sale at one time uh, at one of the parties. And I've used them. They've got a little scorch. But um, the spoon and, the, um, and this spoon here are inset. They're deep. Now I know that they're wood spoons. I'm really careful about um, not washing them in the dishwasher. And I know that there is a a uh, coating, a salve, a soaking of sorts that I can put because this particular one is worn and it needs to be uh, protected. So I'm going to look into that uh, and get these guys taken care of. I have the set of uh, measuring cups and I really like them. Um, they're a nice scoop when you're getting things uh, measured out that you can scoop. Um, I recently learned that you really don't scoop flour out of the bag that you spoon it in so that you don't um, uh, compact it in so you have a more true um, measurement on it. Um, chef tongs works really good. I like them. They are dishwasher dishwasherable, dishwasher safe. Um, I really like them. I use them a lot with uh, like frying chicken, you know, flipping them over. This is a favorite of everybody's. It's the mix and chop. And I get out my hamburger. Sometimes it's thawed, sometimes it's not. And this gets it broke up perfectly. I have the uh, spider strainer because we do like a lot of um, fried foods and it just everything just drains off of it a lot better. Um, it's stainless steel. It has a really long handle, which I like, as do these new utensils, slotted spoon, scoop and serve, and a new spatula. They have these really nice stainless steel handles that I like. Um, it hangs out over the, the pan. You don't get steamed up and whatever. The best thing that I've gotten in from Pampered Chef is popcorn maker. We were really big microwave popcorn maker. Microwave popcorn maker. We were really big on uh, the bags, and you know it, it adds up um, when you're able to go out and buy uh, popcorn and do it yourself. Now I had that, so I got the so I got the popcorn maker. We tried some old popcorn; it didn't work very well. I bought some new popcorn at um, the local Mennonite store. Now it's colored and I like that, but it doesn't pop that way, of course, but I do like it. And I somewhere found, a thrift store something, a 1976 bicentennial uh, ball jar that is old. It has the uh, wire top hole. It's got a little crease here for the bar. So anyway, we store the popcorn in that. I think that's pretty cool. So. We are going to not do a recipe, but we're going to make popcorn. Yeah, pop so, popcorn. So I'm going to pause this. So when I told Jerry about this uh, popcorn maker for the microwave, he said, oh, yeah, rah, 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 rah. And I said, no, wait a minute. Let's just try it. And he said, well, you can't make popcorn in that. And I said, well, sure you can. You go just like this. And you pop it and you serve it. 
and then Pamper Chef Cliver. So what you do is, um, this is a buttery popcorn oil that I got from the Mennonite stir. We do it this way. We pour a little bit down here in the bottom, and I may have done that. You want some more? Yep. He usually does this. No more. Okay, there you go. Okay. And then you put the popcorn in the bottom, and the instructions are really uh, pretty clear about how to do this. Let's see, I never put that back, so this has to come this way. It's interesting on this jar that the, the lid doesn't, the seal doesn't fit in it like you do a mason jar. It's on the outside, so the glass sits on it. So then you pour your popcorn in, okay. and you cover the bottom. No more. Okay. Yep. Okay. Put this back over here. Now, you can put salt in here now and let it pop, mix in with oil, and it's done when you get it. Or you can... Uh, do it afterwards. This little topper is for um, melted butter on it. A slice of butter and cover it up, and the butter melts into the. Push it down. Oh, okay. And the butter will melt into the um, popcorn as it's going. So then this goes on here like this. Now this is dishwash safe. I wash it every three or four times after he's done using it. It's on. Is it on? Yes. I uh, wipe it out really, 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 really good. And so we put it on for three and a half minutes, but we listen to the pop just like they it do. Will pause it pauses until it starts popping. It's starting to pop now. You see, I got a couple more minutes to go, so I'll pause it back in and we'll give you an update. Now you can really hear it. So just a reminder that there's other, collaborate, other collaborators putting out videos through the 26th of June. The giveaway is on June 26, 2 p.m. Central Time, no, 2 p.m. Pacific Time on Big Valley Living's channel and 5 p.m. for Eastern Standard people. Um, make a great comment on the videos that you watch to get into the uh, collaboration. Be sure those videos have the uh, Pamper Chef a thon and the logo to be able to get into the video, into the drawing. Okay, depending on the popcorn, how much is in there, you have to listen because if, if you don't listen, you can scorch your popcorn. When you hear it getting down to hardly anything, and this time it didn't take that long. No, yeah. still going. I'm ready to, almost ready to pop it open. Here we go. It's very hot for being plastic type thing. Take it off there. Okay. okay, as you see, we put the lid on here and it popped off during, with, from the heat. And as always, you want to open this away from you so you don't burn yourself. And here's your popcorn. Use that thing right there. I got it. And there's the popcorn. And it is a little... And then, that's how that's the colors. You see the oil. There's a color on some of it. So... Hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, appreciate Ginger, Tiffany, and uh, Michelle asking me to be in this video. And check out Pampered Chef. They've got a lot of great things going. And don't forget the giveaway. Great prizes. Have a great day, everybody. I have to tell you that doing a collaboration is great fun, and I really and I do enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm telling you, it's a lot of stress to get everything set up. I feel like a, a movie maker where I have all my I have to get all my props lined up and make sure everything's right in the camera. And, and um, I don't worry too much about uh, what I'm saying. I have notes for that and whatever. But you know, to do the props and I and in this video, I just did um, tools. Talked about the tools and how I use them and what I liked about them and and whatever. But for those of you that are making you know, food, food collabs and whatever, kudos to you because 
that's that's a lot of work that's a lot of work and I really enjoy all the ones that I watch and the ones that I've been in but I'm telling you doing a collaboration is setting up your all your your props is it's time consuming and it's and you think and you're anyway well anyway kudos to everybody for the bigger videos that are being done in this collaboration because just for me getting ready what you saw it took me 30 minutes to set up and line up everything in the kitchen and then where was I going to do my opening and blah 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 so you viewers enjoy the videos because we enjoy making them but just know that a lot goes into them to make them a good video catch you next time <laughs>